Ultrasonic angle beam inspection is also referred to as shear wave inspection. This is one inspection which really requires some skill and training to perform. The, the way the inspection is done is that we use angle beam probe, typically 45 degrees or 60 degrees or even 70 degrees. The probe is scanned towards the well to look for defects which are like cracks, lack of fusion, slag, porosity, for example. And uh, the probe is scanned. If there is a reflector in that area, then it's going to produce an ultrasonic signal. Let's say, hypothetically, that there is a crack here. If there is a crack here, then a signal will be reflected to the transducer, and the transducer will measure the sound path from the exit point of the probe, which is from here to there, and then knowing the refracted angle and the sound path, we can actually compute the distance from the exit point to the flaw, which is actually from here to there, which we also call as PA, and then also the depth of the flaw, which is from here going down to that is DA. Uh, the PA and the DA now with these new machines is computed directly by the UT instruments, so that makes it much simpler to do the inspections. In addition, if you enter the X value, which is the distance from the front of the probe to the exit point, then the machine actually calculates RA, which is the distance from the front of the wedge to the defect, and then DA, which is going down from that point down to here. This was an example for detection of a ID crack. Well, let's take another example in which we uh, are looking for a flaw, and the flaw actually is lack of fusion. If there is lack of fusion, for example, right here, then the sound will be reflected from the ID, and it will be reflected here, and if the defect was right here, which is, let's say, lack of fusion, then the sound will be reflected back from here, and in this case, the SA will actually be the total distance from here to there up to the lack of fusion, which is right here. And then again, in this case, the PA value will be up to the lack of fusion, which is going to be up to here, and then the DA will be from this point down to the defect, this will be DA, now, once we enter the X value, then the machine will actually compute the RA and the DA. So the RA will become, now in this case, it will go up to here, and then the DA will go down to from here. So knowing the RA and the DA, we can actually pinpoint the location of the flaw, and knowing the location of the flaw, we can figure out, depending on the flaw location in the weld, whether the flaw is actually lack of fusion or if it's crack or slag. Obviously, if the indication is here, it's going to be a crack. If it's here, it's going to be a toe crack. If it's here, it would be lack of fusion. If it's somewhere inside the weld, it would most likely be, be slag or porosity. Thank you.